If you want to help your child enjoy writing, I will show you three fun activities to help your child develop essential pre-writing skills. Hi, I'm Jacinth, a parenting coach and an ex-school teacher. As an educator, I firmly believe in instilling a joy of learning in our children, particularly in writing. I have seen frustrated parents who are trying to force their children to write, which eventually backfired. In this video, I am going to explain how it is important to build pre-writing skills before getting your kids to hold the pencil. I'll be sharing three activities to help your child build these essential skills. And guess what? they don't require the pencil. Just like how you have to practice the skills in order to play the piano or do drills before playing soccer, writing requires children to have a strong foundation in muscle strength as well as fine motor coordination. In the three fun low prep activities, your child will practice these essential skills and at the same time, build a strong foundation and eventually find writing a joy. Do you know that the use of scissors can train your child's muscles and coordination? Specifically, it helps children work on their hand strength and control, which is the ability to exert force against resistance using the hands and fingers. This allows the necessary muscle power for controlled movement of the pencil. Safety is the most important, so make sure that you take time to guide your children and demonstrate how to use the scissors appropriately. First, encourage your child to hold the pencil with her dominant hand while the other hand holds the writing paper. As she cuts, she is developing bilateral integration. If your child doesn't like to cut, don't worry. I have intentionally created these printables with fun contacts to encourage and excite your little one. Another tip is to cut out your child's favorite character, paste it on the tip of the scissors blade and tell a story of getting the character to go back home. For example, my girl loves Frozen. She pastes this sticker on the scissors and brings Elsa home along the printable. Your child is developing hand-eye coordination as she cuts along the lines. At the beginning, you can let your child cut any paper that she likes. This is a great opportunity for her to explore using the scissors. If you would like to offer more sophisticated scissors training, you can use these printables like plant a garden that requires your child to cut out shapes and create their own garden. Don't worry again, I have created these printables for you and all you need to do is to head over to the HP website where you can download the printables for free. So simply download it, print it out and let your child play and explore. The links to the printables are in the description below, so go over and click on them. Have you tried playing with Play-Doh yourself? Do you know that when your kids are squishing, rolling and playing with this Play-Doh, they are unknowingly picking up lots of pre-writing skills? Learning to write requires children to be able to skillfully manipulate tools and this is what we call object manipulation. The Play-Doh is great for kids to improve their dexterity as they twist, squish, pull the soft Play-Doh. In the process, children improve their hand division as well. I like to print these Play-Doh mats, either laminate them or put them into a plastic sheet and leave it on the shelf alongside tubs of Play-Doh. The beauty of this open-ended activity is that there's no right or wrong way of playing. Take for example this special fish mat. It doesn't matter how the fish looks like, let your child create his or her own special fish and tell a story about what happened to the fish. The matte printables offer endless conversations that you can have with your children. I print this matte printable using the HP Instant Ink printer and I'm not worried that I will run out of ink because HP will automatically detect that my printer is running low on ink and they will deliver it to my house at no delivery charge. This subscription service has made my life very convenient as I do not need to head out to refill the ink cartridges. And the best part is that for someone who prints quite a bit, instant ink is a cost-saving deal. I can save up to 50% on ink cartridges with HP Instant Ink. If you haven't tried HP Instant Ink, HP is now offering a three months free trial of HP Instant Ink subscription service if you own or purchase a HP eligible printer. Click the link in the description below to sign up for HP Instant Ink. 
When I say you don't have to use pencils to help your kids enjoy writing, I mean it. Use other fun tools and mediums to get your kids to enjoy the process of writing by associate learning to write with positive emotions and fun activities. In Activity 3, Q-Tips Painting, you can get your little ones to dip the Q-Tips into paint and design their own boat, sun, and even the dolphin. This activity helps them to work on their fine motor and visual motor development. At the same time, they can get creative and have fun designing their own masterpiece. This printable is available for you for your free download on the HP website. Another option is to use dot stickers. The peeling of stickers train fine motor skills and children have to be extremely careful as they stick the dot stickers on the printables. It trains their patience as well. I noticed that my girl complains that she feels tired after a while. This is very normal. Imagine the tiny little fingers grasping the Q-tips accompanied by the intense focus. No wonder our little ones feel tired easily. This also means that their finger muscles are strengthening, which is exactly what we want for them to build their hand muscles so that they can write with ease in future. You can download this printable from the HP website if you want to let your kids experience Q-tip painting. Click the link in the description below for your free download. So there you have it, three fun ways to train your child's hand muscles so that they are equipped with the fundamental skills for writing. I often encourage parents to focus on the process more than the product. The joy associated with learning can motivate children to try new experiences. On the other hand, the fatigue and dullness while learning can kill their interest and curiosity about the world around them. And I encourage you, the parent, to join in the activities as well. When children see you participate or even see you writing on a daily basis, they are definitely going to be more motivated to want to write. If you have enjoyed the video, feel free to check out the other videos on my channel. If you've enjoyed this, please click like, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be alerted when I upload more videos. Have a good day and I'll see you soon. Goodbye!